Hi there! In this screencast we're going to take a look at some of the navigation features available in C-Lion. Let's begin by looking for a particular class. There is a shortcut that you can fire up to go to a particular class. You can type in a part of the file name, like let's say FACT, and this finds the factorial class so I can press return and navigate to the appropriate file. In a similar fashion, I can find a particular file. So I can press a different shortcut and here I don't have to type in the full file name. I can type a part of the file name or I can type just the capital letters. So for example, if I'm looking for the CMake list file, I can just type CML and that finds the appropriate file. I press return and I'm there. And CLine also has a navigation feature for finding a particular symbol, like let's say the name of a function or a field. So when I fire up this shortcut, I can type the name of symbol, let's say gamma. And CLine goes off and looks for all the fields and functions where the word gamma is being used and I can once again press return to navigate to a particular instance. Now let's go to the dividend barrier options class. So once again go to type, type in DBO and I'm there. Now to navigate to a particular member of this class what I can do is I can bring up the file structure window. Now this window shows me everything that there is in this file. So we can see that there are several classes in this file and I can once again move up and down and press return to navigate to a particular member. Now that I'm on a function declaration I probably want to edit this definition so I have a shortcut for navigating to related symbols and I end up in the CPP file. Jumping back to the header file, another thing I can do is navigate up the hierarchy and see the setup arguments function in the base classes. So I can do that a couple of times by pressing an appropriate shortcut and I end up in the base class, barrier options, then in option, then in instrument. When it comes to exploring hierarchies, CLion can be very useful with its hierarchy window. So if I navigate to the name of the class that we're currently in, which is instrument, I can press a shortcut to illustrate the whole hierarchy of all the types that inherit from instrument. So here what I can do is I can navigate this tree. So for example, if I want a European option, I would go into option, then one asset option, then go into the vanilla option, and finally double click on European option to get to the right file. Now if at some point I want to get back to a file that I've edited or just looked at, there are shortcuts for that too. So first of all we have the recent files window. You can see there are lots of files that I've visited and I can press return to navigate to one of them. But there is also a recently edited window which shows only the files where I've actually made a change. So let's use this functionality to get back to the dividend barrier options class. And now let's suppose I want to find out who calls setup arguments and who does setup arguments itself calls. For that we have another type of hierarchy called the call hierarchy. So we can keep expanding this tree and for example we can see that the vanilla option implied volatility function calls the implied volatility helper calculate function which in turn calls the dividend barrier option setup arguments function. And it's also possible to invert this tree, meaning that instead of looking at functions which call setup arguments, we can actually look at the functions which setup argument itself calls. And here we can see that the setup arguments function calls its base class setup arguments, but it also calls a few other functions as well. And we can expand those for a very long time until we find some final call that doesn't call anything by itself. There is another type of hierarchy window that CLine supports called the imports hierarchy. So let's go to, let's say, barrier option. Now let's jump into the CPP file. And if we look at the top, we see that there are some include statements here. So what we can do is we can explore the import hierarchy. So as you can see, we get a tree which represents all the includes of this particular file. So we see that there are five includes here and we can expand them and expand them again and again and again, and thereby we can navigate the entire tree of files that are being indirectly included in this particular file. Now, these two windows that you see on the sides and the two windows down below as well, you can navigate to them using something called the switcher. So the switcher is a separate tool that you've already seen when we navigated to recent files, but let's take a look at it again. 
So the switcher allows you to navigate to some of the recent files that you've been to. But in addition, you can also navigate to the two windows. So to navigate up and down, first of all, you can use the up and down arrows, but you can also use the tab character and to navigate backwards, that would be shift and tab. You can press the alt key to navigate to the left side of the menu. And that's where you can actually navigate to the particular two windows. Like for example, if I want to get back to the hierarchy window, I can press eight or I can press return on this element. And now I'm back in the hierarchy window and I can collapse and expand things and uh, navigate up and down as I please. The last thing I want to show is navigation through the arrows. And this is fairly simple. There is a shortcut that basically takes you to the next issue in a particular file. So as I press it, for example, I end up in a place where a break is redundant. I press it once again and I end up with a location where there's a potential type mismatch. I press it once again and I end up in a constructor call where one of the arguments hides a non-virtual function with a name. And I can keep pressing it to find additional issues. So this has been a demonstration of some of the ways in which CLine makes your life easier by letting you navigate to particular members of files or letting you view and navigate particular hierarchies and dependencies. To find out more, go to jetbrains.com slash CLine and thanks for watching.